doing, guys? I, since I fucked up the last narration, I have to narrate again. And since I haven't narrated like this in a long time, I'm going to be narrating it like I narrate my Pokemon battles. So, yay! Logic and stuff. So, this first part of the video is me being a retard and stuff, and I was, like, just, like, trying to get Growlithe to come out and realize, oh, you probably need a Petra Ball to do it. So, I turn around and I'm like, oh, Charmeleon, you scared the shit out of me. So... I decided to get a picture of Charmeleon for no particular reason at all, and I realized it was new, and I was like, holy shit, new Charmeleon. So, um, yeah, I guess I forgot to do him because I haven't made a video like this in a long time. <sighs> Anyways, time skip. Anyway, so, uh, he's like, wait, dang it, return to the lab, and then he's like, welcome back. And, um, yeah, I'm, like, narrating this without any sound, because if I narrated with sound, there'd be, like, an echo and stuff, and that's annoying to listen to. Trust me, I know. So, anyway, he gives you a pester ball if you cap er, capture, so to speak, 25 different Pokemon. So, time skip again, as we go back to the place where I was a retard, and after only two pester balls, Growlithe comes out. So, yay. And all you gotta do is just check the pester ball in or really near the lava spewing thingies and stuff. And eventually, Arcanine comes out. Ooh, looks fucking badass in this game. So, like, yeah. And now I decide to, um, knock Charmeleon into the lava for no particular reason at all. Now I head to the beach. So, yay! And stuff. Time skip. So, uh... There's Snorlax up ahead, and I've gotten a few questions of people, like, saying, do you need a, uh, flute to, like, capture Snorlax, so to speak? Well, as you can see there, you don't. You can, like, just chuck a pester ball on it, and he'll be like, uh And then you can, like, take a picture of him and stuff. And now, just, like, really near that up here, um, if you chuck a pest pester balls, it might take a few tries, like it did for me, into that, um, orange patch of flowers and stuff. Eventually, Scyther comes out. And he's like, Scyther! And stuff. And also, I already narrated this once before, and it was really annoying, because, like, apparently I can't narrate with my camera in the, uh, USB slot at the same time, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, um, after you get Scyther out, Pikachus come out, and they're like, oh my god, logs, let's go jump on them. And then they jump on them for a while. And, um, normally that's a better shot than the, uh, Pikachu on a surfboard, but, um, since, uh, I'm dumb, I didn't get a better shot. You can also fire, um, safari, or not safari, what am I talking about? Pester balls in that, like, hedge of grass and stuff. Another scyther will come out. Anyway, another time skip, as I'm going rather fast, and, um, I decided to go to the river now and stuff. So, yay, there won't be any skips in this one. So, you'll see r uh, right up first, um, polywags and stuff, and all you gotta do is chuck a pester ball near them. It won't, like, affect them in any way. I... 90% sure an apple works as well, but, you know, you just saw me do use it with a pester ball, so why wouldn't you use it with a pester ball? You know what I mean? I might, like, experiment with it later, but whatever. Um, me being a retard here, I'm trying to capture them, but it's kind of hard work, and I'm like, ah, fuck it. So, none of those were good shots, by the way. If you, um, chuck an apple, like, right, uh, in front of that little open log there, Bulbasaur will come out, and Bulbasaur is pretty badass, so, there you go. Slowpoke's up at, up now, and no, the the sound is probably not lagging, I'm just talking behind and stuff. And he's like, slow and stuff, and you can like get a picture of him. And now I believe this is the part of Shelders. Oh yeah, 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 this is it. They're all like, yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, so. Anyways, uh... Uh, in order, you lead, um, Slowpoke over to that brown patch of dirt right there, and, um, you see the little shelter thing, and you're like, oh my god, Slowpoke's going to go fishing. I wonder what it'll catch. And then you're automatically thinking, Magic Carp! No, it'll get a shelter and stuff, and then evolve into a slow Slowbro, because Slowpoke plus shelter equals Slowbro. <sighs> Anyways... Metapods are up ahead. You can, I think you can use either a, mas a pester ball or an apple to get the metapod, but um, I'm not certain. I don't know. And this side up here, you can hit it with a pester ball or an apple into the water, and but then you would have to like find it with random chucks of like apples and stuff into the water and stuff, and that's just annoying. So I wouldn't suggest that. You, you can if you want to, to get a better shot. Now it's Shelders and Cloyster, if you, like, get all the Shelders beforehand and stuff. Or they, it just comes out automatically, I don't know. 
Porygons come out as well, which is pretty cool. I honestly, the first time I ever played it, I didn't expect Porygons. So, anyway, to go to the next stage, you um, hit that Porygon on the wall with a pester ball. It'll come out and hit the switch, and it'll be like, yeah, even though Porygon doesn't even, like, make up a voice. And then, like, yeah, so, I believe there's another time skip for eventually right about now anyways he's like wait dingus return to the lab and then he's like welcome back and then like he'll say that there's a split in the path even though we like just found it and then the caves will appear and then that's gonna be probably the next video so rate comment sub sorry i haven't made a video in a while later